Hi guys, this is AC Game. We're back with another video on Counter Side. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is talking about future characters to save for or future characters to summon. So that's why I am currently in my SEA account because all the characters you guys want to summon for are probably already uh, well, they're definitely out in the SEA version. So it is going to be a lot easier to actually showcase the character in here. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys actually like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Counter Side. Let's get to 10k subscribers. At 10k subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that if you guys don't want to miss out on upcoming and future counter side video make sure that post notification is on make sure you're subscribed obviously and if you guys find this video enjoyable or useful make sure you click the like button it helps out with the algorithm and it also helps other people find this amazing video before we continue with the video i would like to talk about our sponsor for today ld player this video is sponsored by ld player LD Player is a free Android emulator to play mobile games on PC with mouse and console. It provides the fastest performance for Android gaming, supports various Windows systems and most po um, popular apps and games. So right now with the release of Counter Side Global, there is no PC client for the game. So that's why I actually recommend you guys using LD Player to play Counter Side. The game runs very smooth, there is no lag, I've not experienced any lag from using it so far. We all know how enjoyable it is to play some of our favorite mobile games on the pc and that's why i recommend using ld player i have been using ld player for a while and it has been performing extremely well thank you ld player for sponsoring this video go to the description of this video and click the link to download ld player right now let's get back to the video so yeah let's go over to the um collection so based on the roadmaps we actually know which characters are going to be coming between each month so i will be able to tell you which month you want to save which months you or well, which characters coming out in specific months you should save for and which ones you should actually skip so the first one we will be talking about is the month of june so let's go ahead and take a look at the roadmap so for the month of june the two available characters that will be coming out is going to be sigma and it don't meet now now both of them are absolutely amazing and fantastic character but at the same time i probably will tell you to skip on sigma now 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 listen listen sigma is definitely a character you definitely want however sigma is a character you won't see the benefit of having unless you have a very very good cdr mech gear right now we just came into the global server we don't have the best gears available we have some tier 6 gear from the pvp but i'm pretty sure you guys don't have mech gear built up you're focused on counter characters so there is no way you guys have mech gears built up but um yeah when sigma comes out even if you summon for him and you get him you probably won't be able to use him properly because the amount of resources he gives you is just going to be yeah not that cost effective as well as why well, can't i find them so for free to play players who don't have that amazing gear right now you guys are probably thinking damn he is going to be a good character but i wouldn't even be able to use him properly so is there any reason for me to summon on here now that is the main question if you guys don't mind that then go ahead and summon for sigma now why is sigma a fantastic character now sigma is a tower unit now with tower units tower units are units you place at the back you keep them away from the enemy you keep them all the way at the back because they don't move they literally stay in place and um, if the enemy does target them they probably die straight away because the hp especially for sigma is not the greatest however sigma does provide you with great um, utility so let's go ahead and take a look at this right now so it's basically attack basically just inflicts a weak damage now sigma sorry is a all-round attacker so he attacks ground type and air type character so quite good moving on to his passive um increases all allies role advantage or disadvantage um damage resistance by 30 percent except for herself sigma can't be healed um role advantage damage plus 60 percent added to buff deployment resources plus one upon death this is probably the main reason why you want sigma but um the role advantage stuff is basically there is certain characters in the game that does extra damage to specific units so if for example il now one of the other characters that it will be coming out in the month of june she does extra damage to counter unit no not to counter to soldier units so this basically just increases the more the amount of damage she can actually do to soldier units making the advantage she has over them a lot more what's called sigma commands uh, Sigma commands are for metric cubes and restores um, deployment resources quickly. So it restores one deployment resources. This skill consumes 15% of her HP when used. With this, it basically means build this character up with CDR gear. 
she can do a special over and over again and that means she will be giving you one deployment resources every time she does her special so that's very very good barrier equals to 20 percent of max hp for 10 seconds for up to three skill use so it means she's a little bit tanky she's not going to be taking that much damage though because she's all the way at the back but if an enemy targets her then she's more than likely going to die uh, Sigma is a female by the way if you guys don't know so yeah as you can see Sigma can't be healed so if you want to protect Sigma you just have to rely on her just you know being at the back um, and with her ultimate skill she basically summons a mech that can be tanky and if that mech currently in the global server if that mech does get summoned it can be very very annoying now like I said Sigma is a character you definitely need a CDR gear for because if you aren't able to use a special that quickly you're not going to be getting that much um, deployment resources so it might be a skip for some people but i will say it is a fantastic must-have character uh, well in my global server i probably will skip the sigma because the next character is who i want to summon for which is Adil Mitna. It definitely need a character i would recommend you guys to summon just because of her extra damage to um pve bosses or not pve bosses but pve mobs and counter no and soldier units as well so that's the main use of Adil Mitna, and she has one of the best costume in the entire game as you can see fantastic simply fantastic i have this costume myself because obviously why not and her damage is absolutely insane it definitely a must have you guys want to counter or beat some stages you guys are finding it harder to um for example in shadow place when it comes out in the future she is going to be very useful in there some of the other pve content that will be coming out later on she's definitely going to be a must-have character so if you guys want to make sure all your resources are saved up for adil mitna i would definitely um, recommend that now you guys are probably thinking sigma or adil mitna both fantastic character adil mitna is a counter unit so you guys are already building counter teams right now you're probably focusing on gear for counter units for example cdr gear so you can actually build her up with attack speed gear or cdr gear and um yeah I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot easier to actually build a gift for Adil Mitna um so yeah that is for the month of June now moving on to the month of July where we have more characters coming out oops let's not do that so month of July the characters coming out is gonna be the Seraphel Alex and Harab now this is actually a lot easier right now the reason why I say that is because there's only one character you want to summon for and that is Seraphel so Seraphel is a counter um different class character so let's go ahead and take a look at her where is she there she is she also looks very very cool and she's also one of the characters i bought the costume for there we go look at this amazing amazing costume so this is seraphel this is how she looks like what is she used for she's basically a very tanky shield so let's go ahead and take a look at what she can do permanently increases attack by one percent in response to incoming damage up to 90 percent and in gauntlet incoming damage um, decreases all enemies um, hp by 4.5 percent over three seconds ships excluded at level five every fourth basic attack she delivers an enhanced aoe attack to the front area special skill uh, hit stun immunity uh, damage resistant plus 50 percent for five seconds so special skill and um, hit stun immunity means that where sometimes when ship um, shoots the laser beam it causes your allies to be stunned or you know collapse basically she's immune to that which means she can just carry on moving forward towards the enemy which is absolutely fantastic her special skill um, unleashes her power inflicting aoe damage on surrounding enemies and forcing them to attack her for eight seconds so her taunt's ability takes 50 percent of damage for some of um, for surrounding allies and achieves 100 higher damage or uh, defense sorry for eight seconds so very very tanky character and at level five she can recover 30 percent of max hp after skill so she basically can increase her survivability now with her you want to build her with hp gear to make sure that um, her hp is very very high as a tank moving on to our ultimate skill this skill immediately cancels all the debuff cast on her and makes her invisible for its duration so that is absolutely insane you want to make sure that she uses her ultimate skill um, at level 5 stuns all enemies for 2 uh, seconds after skill so as you can see she has great utility she can taunt she can um, debuff or the enemy decreases all allies enemies sorry hp she can be immune to hit stun and she also has increased damage resistance uh, she can stun allies as well so she is fully 
like an op character definitely a must have in my opinion so when this banner comes out in a month of july you definitely want to summon now the reason why this month is going to be a lot easier is because you can actually skip on the two other characters i mentioned for example the alex and harab now harab is a meta character for pvp absolutely meta however Harab is a unit that only is useful in PvP and not useful in PvE, which means for free to play players, it isn't effective for you guys to actually pull her. Is she a support class character? I really can't remember anymore. Yes, she is. So there we go. This is Harab. This is how she looks like. Absolutely stunning as well. So the skill Harab has that makes her very good is the fact that she can confuse your enemy. So by confusing the enemy, she can make them um, attack their own allies. So that is insanely good. However, there is a condition with her confused. I believe the characters that she can confuse has to be at cost 2 or below. So you're not going to be going against that many teams that uses cost 2 units. Except the Ainz and Zwayne. Now those are meta characters as well. Um, you guys already know right now in the battle pass she is the battle pass character. So if people manage to pull her or manage to get her, get her in the battle pass. That means that this unit can perfectly counter her. There's also very good two cost characters in the game so this unit can actually taunt them or confuse them sorry and cause them to attack their own allies which is absolutely insane it is definitely a, a good character for pvp but pve she's just not going to be used at all free to play players can skip and wills will do what they want which is get the most op pve and pvp character next up we also have alex now alex is actually quite a strong striker character but yeah we have a lot more better striker character available so this is alex now what we'll say about alex is she is a free cost unit so it means that she is actually quite useful like i said she is definitely a strong um striker character she is going to be useful in pvp and a little bit in pve content as well so let me go ahead and take a look at her skills um there we go so basic attack we don't really need to focus on that moving on to the passive um activates her device when her hp drops to 50 percent or lower basic attack additional basic attack deals additional attack and all attacks create a barrier equal to three percent of max hp for five seconds moving on to her special skill amplifies her um device output temporary reinforcing her physical capabilities inflicting a we damage in front and increasing max hp by 25 percent for 12 seconds obviously with the skills attack up by 50 percent yep 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 okay yeah she does seem very very good I, I won't deny that but um i would say there is a lot better free cost um striker characters available in global server uh, Starosa, even though she's a four cost unit she is better than alex in my opinion um as a special sword fighter if you get this unit to level 110 they are absolutely going to be amazing give her the best gears as well they are also going to be pretty amazing in pvp and pve as well not a harsh for you free cost but absolutely amazing and must have as well any other striker characters in the global server irons and zwayne as well absolutely insane so alex might not be the strongest out of all of them but she definitely is a strong character but at the same time i would recommend you guys to skip she is good but yeah a skip will probably be the best option for global free to play players going on to the month of august so the characters that will be coming out in the month of august is actually we're going to be getting a new awakened character um six wing now you've been is only good in pvp and in my opinion you can absolutely skip him if you guys are free to play but pve or pvp sorry might be a lot toxic if you go against now you've been but now you've been definitely requires heavy gear investments and if you guys don't have good gear for now you've been he isn't going to be that good let me show you how he looks like um so he is a defender class character and he is right there so he's the awakened character one of the few awakened characters i do not have um i will probably solve it for him later later on but at the same time he's right now he's not the greatest pvp character in the game but he's still quite decent now in the global server when this unit comes out i don't think a lot of free to play players are going to summon so you probably won't go against him that many times in pvp um going over to the normal characters that will be coming out that month is going to be ifrit Escreta, um, Nanyo Blue Steel and Mika Star. Now, pretty easy on which character you can actually skip on. So the first one that is coming out is Ifrit, I think, uh, because his name came out first. So Ifrit, definitely a must summon. Definitely must summon, no cap. 
everyone summon for him have your resources waiting for him he is going to be one of the greatest damage dealer in the entire game um so yeah basically all you want him for is for damage and that's why you want to summon for him his damage is going to be 10 out of 10 and if you take a look at his cost it's only three diplomat cost it's kind of similar to the administration sword um rifleman because of the damage and the cost um they have quite low cost but deal huge amount of damage so definitely must summon now with the rest of the other characters i mentioned you can absolutely skip on them so esketa i'm not going to bother to show you how he looks like because he's basically like uh okay there he is so this is esketa skip garbage character very very garbage moving on to nanya bill still um i don't know what to say because she's definitely going to be absolutely meta in pvp she's definitely going to beat up awaken hildy um i managed to pull her i didn't manage to, well i didn't actually summon for her i just pulled her from off banner and i was happy to be honest because she's absolutely insane i got her all the way to level 110 and she's fantastic absolutely good in pvp but in pve she doesn't really do anything too unique you have your other pve characters now know how i should feel you she's just going to be a lot better um than daniel please still in my opinion so yeah you can skip on her as well even though she's going to be very good in pvp and the next character that i mentioned was mika star nothing much to say about her uh, she isn't good i kind of see so this is how mika star looks like she isn't the greatest character you can absolutely escape she recently got buffed but she still sucks so there we go so i'm pretty sure that is it for all the announced characters coming out for the first three months of counter side now tell me down in the comment section if you guys find this video helpful and shout out to ld player for sponsoring this video go to the description of this video to click on my affiliate link to download the ld player right now great way to play counter side on your um pc it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out Harmony